Hello, I'm Don Crawley from SoundTraining.net, and today we're going to look at packet capturing and protocol analysis with Wireshark. What is Wireshark? Uh, Wireshark is really the de facto standard in packet capturing and protocol analysis in the networking industry. It's a tool that was developed in 1998 by Gerald Combs. Today it's maintained by a large group of uh, some of the preeminent experts in networking worldwide. What can you do with it? Well, uh, you can use it to capture packets and analyze your network traffic. You can identify and analyze the protocols that are in use on particular network segments. Then you can identify the source and the destination of traffic, identify who's using your network and, and what for. And then finally, you can display the contents of the packets. It's a great tool. At the end of the video, I'll show you where you can download it for free. In our demo, we're going to start a packet capture with Wireshark. Then we're going to use Telnet to log on to a Cisco switch. Why Telnet? Well, because Telnet, as, as you probably know, and as any self-respecting IT person should know, is a notoriously non-secure protocol. The entire session is in clear text. There's no encryption, and that will allow us to view the contents of the packets. Once we've logged on, uh, we'll stop the capture, and then we'll view and sort the protocols. So we'll see TCP, Telnet, uh, perhaps ARP, maybe a couple of other protocols in, that are in use. And then finally, we'll view the unencrypted authentication. So if you're ready, let's take a look at Wireshark. The first thing we have to do is actually start Wireshark capturing packets. So let's go ahead and click on the button to start the packet capture. We'll select our network interface and click on start. Now it's capturing packets and there's some broadcast traffic and um, you know, that's to be expected in an Ethernet network. Let's go ahead and open up HyperTerminal and we'll log on with our username and our password which is pass1234. There's a secure password. <laughs> Just joking, obviously. And now we're logged on to Kilgan. What you ask is Kilgan. Kilgan is a 20th century pipe organ builder, and I'm a fan of the pipe organ, so I tend to name my devices and my networks after pipe organ companies. Now, let's go back over to Wireshark, and here you can see all of the traffic that it's capturing. There's a lot of broadcast traffic and so on. Let's, uh, let's stop the capture, just because we, we've already got what we need. And notice a couple of things. First of all, as I mentioned, there's a lot of different types of traffic there. We see ARP traffic and Telnet, TCP traffic. Uh, there's some browser traffic and, and various other types of traffic going around the network. This is very helpful when you're trying to identify the types of traffic in your network. Maybe, maybe you need to allow a certain protocol through a router and you're not sure exactly which one it is that a particular service is using. So you can do this to see what types of traffic a, a particular service is using. And you can sort by clicking on the column header. So we've sorted by protocol type. And it does it alphabetically. That's handy. Let's go back and sort by our uh, sequence number. And uh, here you can see this column shows the time, then the source of the traffic, then the destination, protocol type, and information about the particular uh, packet. Each one of these lines represents a packet. And down at the bottom, we see the ASCII character content of each of the packets. Again, a little overwhelming, so one of the things that we can do is we can put a filter on it. Let's come up here where it says filter, and we'll just start typing. Notice that as I type T, the background turns to red. That's because there's actually a syntax checker in there, so it'll turn to green when the syntax is correct. We'll go ahead and apply the filter, and now we're just looking at Telnet packets. Very handy. The problem is that down at the bottom again, where we see the ASCII characters, uh, we could see our authentication spanning several packets. And as we scroll down through the different packets, you can see the prompts and so on. but uh, we're still not seeing uh, the, the, the actual password. Now there's the prompt. If we go to the next packet, there we see the P, then A, S, S, 1, 2, 3, 4. Be handy if we could just see the entire stream, wouldn't it? And actually Wireshark allows us to do that. Let's click on Analyze, and we're going to choose Follow TCP Stream, and look at that. Right there in clear text is our password, Pass 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, very handy, very powerful tool. You can get Wireshark for free by downloading it at www.wireshark.org. That's www.wireshark.org. You can also get more free videos and how-to guides plus upcoming seminar information at www.soundtraining.net. For soundtraining.net, I'm Don Crawley. See you next time.